eagles prepare for a change. Can I hear one amen? And eagles are the bird that prepares for a change. And I wanted to show you very clearly from the word of God and why God needs a change in our life and what is the power of change and what is the impact of change as you and me come together to worship and to say Jesus is our Lord. Amen. As a Christian, we need to have a change. And change is for what? And change is for where? And change is for why? So that we can understand the power of change. Can you say the power of change? Amen. We are going to see the power of change this morning. As anointing, as I said, uh, eagles prepare for a change. When eagles prepare for a change, it's all together changing the realm of the world and is going to the realm of the new so that he can have a wonderful life more than ever lived before. Can I hear one amen, church? Come on. This is a God's place and this is a God's people and this is God's promises and God will do something powerful into our life. I'm not called to die as I am. I'm called to do as God wants me. Me to live. Amen. Hallelujah. My calling is not for the death. My calling is for the living. Amen. Hallelujah. If you are on the fire, if you are the child of God, if you are the son of God, if you are a believer, the Bible tells me you have a life like abandoned to live, not to vanish and to perish and to do all kinds of stuff in your life. Can you hear an amen? Glory be to God. With this tone, I wanted to start this message. Uh, the eagles prepared for a change. Uh, in other words, eagles will have a phenomena called the rebirth. Amen. Hallelujah. When you say change, the change talks about a rebirth. Let me go to the word Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. I wanted to take for this morning's devotion. But those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not weary. And they will walk and not be faint. This is a blessing of the power of an eagle. And God is always comparing a believer, or a, a chill child of God in the place of an eagle. And eagle is spoken 32 times in the Bible. And whenever eagle comes, it talks about the renewal of the strength. It talks about the vision and it talks about the might and it talks about the elegant soul. Eagle is always exalted and we call the king of the birds. It's called the king of, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, the air. That's what the promise of eagle and the blessing of this words, uh, Isaiah 40, 30. Those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength like eagle. Eagle has got the power to renew whenever it's going bad, whenever it's going sick, whenever it's going to face a death. And eagle has the power to come out of the death. I tell you in Jesus' name, as a child of God, as a believer, you have the power to renew a strength. Because the Bible tells me when you are in the Lord, you are a new creation. Hallelujah. When you are a new creation, there is no word. Bible tells me all the past is gone and you are coming to the present. And this present is not of you. His present is from the Lord so that you will bring you the strength and you don't have any defeat. Amen? Amen. When I say defeat, listen carefully. You, you face problems. You face challenges. You face situations. You face every kind of stuff. But the problem, the strength is we don't have defeat. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God.